here is Lego F3 robot and you could find many many different designs in the internet how to build it but I had some special requirements that I want and some things that I want to achieve first of all I'm using this for teaching kids and I need to do something that is very extensible that is solid and that you could attach different things to it and that you could change batteries easily and many many other things and this is the design that I come up with it's based on default Lego Lego design for that robot it has the same base, almost the same base but I, I put motors and brick and connected them a bit differently so number one requirement for me was that I'm able to change the batteries easily and that means that if my kids play or I do something with that the power run out quite fast and I don't want to tear apart all of it just to replace the batteries so with this it's quite easy it's work like that I could show you I just open it and here is the batteries you could take them replace recharge and put them back and you're ready the second requirement was that I like to do some programming with that but my kids want to play with that and it means that they want a basic basic functionality that provided by Lego and I want to load my custom custom operating system so I could use F3D dev and as you know I could show you I just put it to loading so you could see let's find that you could see anything there well something like that uh, so every dev or layers is using SD card and it means that you just put it there it works and if you remove you get back the normal Lego Lego robot functionality I don't know how easily you could see it but wait a second that's actually default Lego okay so my kids could play it and I could show you it's just normal robot uh, I'll use my kids phone because he has this Lego commander it will take like some time to load and I'll move robot here okay it just shows that it's ready so pressing left it's very easy activating some commands turning and moving forward and back it's super easy uh, just a second I'll get my SD card with custom operating system here is my card and all I need to do is turn off the robot which will take about 30 seconds then I put my card there and load it and I have all environments that I could use and create programs so let's wait a few more seconds I put my card start it and now it will load every dev and I could use computer to program it load programs and it's become completely autonomous and could do different tasks and it's really great 
to show kids how to develop the programs. Because you could use that to show something and then let them do the same with more simple tools like Lego programming, where they just on a tablet put some boxes like in Scratch or a bit advanced F3 basic, which means that they could write some real basic code and execute it and the robot will follow the commands. And it's great because it it's using or it's running on the computer directly and you could show how to debug applications which you can't do with default Lego programmer. But now it's loaded, you could see let's see how I could show you. So let's hope you will see it from the video better than from now. Okay, but now I'm going to turn it off for now. Yeah, that was a basic about programming. But another stuff that I want to make is that it's very easy to change the gear. You could see I have some rotating hand, almost the same as from default Lego set. I have to adjust it a bit to make it a bit higher, so it didn't hit the the, ba the floor. I could show you it's almost hitting the floor, but not. And what I did is very easy. Here you could see that I could very easily unplug it. It using these pins. And I could plug something else. I'll plug. I'll plug the color sensor for now. Color sensor. Putting here. Putting one pin. Putting second pin. And two more. And all I have to do is to plug it to the sensors. And now the color sensor is ready and we could run the program that read data from it, from it and that the robot could follow the lines or detect some colors or whatever you want. And when you're done and you want to change to the next task, you just unplug it. And as you could see, it's so easy that even kid could unplug it because these pins are very, very easy to plug and unplug. And let's say, well, I have another one which is sensor, like a button, button sensor. And the same, you just Put the pins there, is it like this? Yeah, yeah, one pin goes fly away. And now you have a button. So whenever it hits something, the button will be pressed and you could program it and play around it. And it's super easy to remove them. That's it. Well, this is from color sensor. And of course the most, most fun for kids is the shooting. 
and here it's just standard Lego ball sh shooter and you just plug it and you're done very easy but it's not all what you could do because sometimes even that is not not good I mean this platform is really great you could access everything the virus doesn't mess stuff and well but you, you decide that okay this central motor is no good you want something else fine that's absolutely fine here is four pins oh, clicked. yeah here is four pins and if you remove them let's do it like this so you could also see Now you could take away a motor and put anything else you want there and these pins will fix them. For now I'll put everything back. Yeah, it's not as easy as the top parts and maybe not good for small kids. As it's Okay. Yeah. But otherwise it's ready or I could put back my whatever I don't know how they call it. This part that rotates and hit everyone. Where is my pins? Yeah, so let's put them back. Actually, it's much easier first to put them to the right places and then attach them to the, to the base. And your robot is ready and everyone could play with that. I think that's kind of great design for education because everything is accessible, everything is very easy to change and you could use many ways to program the robot and play with that. There is some modifications that I've made to the base platform. First of all it's like these bars here that add a bit more strange to the to the base what would be good actually to add one more parts here and here so motors are more fixed because now they are well a bit losing for the back part it's quite quite stable and quite good and if you want to unplug the brick sometimes you want it's like that and it's completely like only the wires now connecting it and you could plug it back like very very easily and the same you could change even the top part because top part is just a bar and you could plug anything to, on top of the bar I think that's it if you have any comments or any ideas what this robot could could do and what mission it could do and what we would be interesting to record, please put to the comments and I'll do it in the next video.